Hey everyone, how you doing today? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. It's a great life being sober and having a great life in sobriety is very, very possible. That's what this channel is all about. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. One topic that I want to talk about today is a topic that a lot of us especially in really early recovery, probably experience. And what it is, is finger pointing. And people blaming each other or the active alcoholic blaming himself for becoming an alcoholic or something in my past must have made me an alcoholic. Maybe the teachers were too hard on me. Maybe I too poor parenting. Maybe I'm just a, a, you know, a jerk with a lot of bad luck. And there's a lot of reasons why I'm an alcoholic. And you know, that might work for a little while, you know, pointing the finger, mom and dad, you know, whatever it is that we think made us an alcoholic and we play the blame game or we tend to want to point the finger at something that caused it. And I went through that for many years. I went through that for two years in early sobriety. It must be something besides my, my drinking or my addiction. I did drugs too, but I was a full-blown alcoholic and drug addict too. So it must be something that caused this addiction in me or this use disorder problem in me. It must be something. It can't be that, it can't be the booze because the booze did so much for me. It made me loose. It gave me more confidence. It made me more powerful. It sort of took away my problems, that sort of thing. So I never thought it was the alcohol. I really didn't think it was the alcohol. I thought I was just from the land of the myth, misfit toys sort of thing. And that's just the way it is. I'm just gonna grow up and life is gonna be difficult for me. And I use the booze to help me. I, I thought those kind of things and there must be something more. And But the reality of it is, there really isn't much more to it being an alcoholic. And you're gonna say, what do you mean Terry G? Well, being an alcoholic is no more your fault than it is my fault, than it is your mom's fault and things that happen in your life. And I'll go a little deeper. I might have drank over the way my parents treated me, ruminist on the booze, complained and cried and angry at people when I drank. They caused me to drink. I must, I could have, I must, I ruminist over those things. I thought about it. I actually drank over them, but it didn't make me an alcoholic. It didn't make me an alcoholic. It contributed to it, but it didn't make me an alcoholic. It wasn't the way I was raised. It's not mom and dad's fault. It's not the teachers. It's not an emotional problem that I have. It's not a mental illness that I have. It's just that I drank too much alcohol. I used and abused the substance of alcohol until it took over my life. That's what happened. That is what happened. I did not set out in my life when I was six years old or 10 years old to say to myself, I'm gonna be in a meeting talking about my recovery when I'm 60 or when I'm 30, I'm gonna be an alcoholic. I'm gonna grow up to be an alcoholic. I, didn't, I, I never once thought like that. Alcoholism sort of stuck up to me and just slapped me right in the side of the face. And one day I woke up and my life was a mess was a mess. Blaming and pointing the finger at reasons why we are alcoholic or our lives have become so unmanageable because of the booze or the addiction is a form of denial. It's a form of denial and it will keep us in everlasting denial. It will only fuel the addiction if we keep pointing the finger and blaming outside people, places and things for our lives. Alcoholism is a disease. Alcoholism is an illness. It's in the medical books, it's bona fide. No one can dispute it. It's like saying, my teachers treated me like garbage, that's why I have cancer. My parents are no good, that's why I have diabetes. No, no it's not. The reason I have alcoholism is because I drank, and eventually the drink took me. The drink started doing more for me unknowingly 
than I thought it was doing. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's insanity, right? It's crazy stuff, right? So if you want to get cured or helped or recover from alcoholism, you need to start stop blaming things, other people, places, and things for your alcoholism. You really need to stop doing that because it leaves you in denial and it tells you indirectly not to take responsibility for your drinking or the things you're doing to other people, places, or things, the negative impact on your life. The only time I was able to sober up is when I finally looked in the mirror and said, Terry, you're the problem. Your drinking is the problem. And no one else, no one else can help you but besides yourself. You're the only person that can help you when it comes to your alcoholism. Is you, Terry G, is you. I need it to take responsibility and stop pointing the finger at everybody, blaming the world for my life. And you know, once I start taking responsibility for the way I thought, the way I feel, feel, the way I felt, and my behavior, my life slowly started to get better. I've been drug free and alcohol free for decades now. But I first step I had to take is admit to myself that I am an alcoholic. My life has become unmanageable. And if I don't get some help, I am going right to the dump. I'm gonna stay on that garbage truck and go right to the dump, end up in jail, end up dead, something like that, something horrible, or a mental institution, something very horrible was happening to me. Because something that was very fun and joyful at the beginning turned out to be in every nook and cranny of my life and it slowly, over time, destroyed my life and took everything that was valuable from me. It took away from me. It really did. And the old saying is, either you'll stop the alcoholism and do something about it, or eventually the alcohol will take you to places that you will not believe where you're capable of going. Believe me, because I never believed it. I thought I could control it and everything was fine, but it wasn't. Remember, it's not your fault, but you need to take responsibility. You are the alcoholic. You're the one with the disease of alcoholism. Look in the mirror, take responsibility, reach out for support, go to treatment, go to detox, whatever it may be, go to your family doctor, whoever it is, just do something about your drinking one day at a time, and over days and over time and over weeks and months and years, your life will get better. You'll be able to design a life for yourself that you don't need to drink. You don't need to drink, okay? So quit pointing the finger, okay? Quit doing that, really. Quit doing that, quit blaming people. Take responsibility for your drinking. You are your own liquor control board, you are, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an Alcohol Free Life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. I'm just at work doing this in between breaks. I thought I would throw a quick video up because I didn't have time on the weekend with all the activities going on because it's Christmas. What a great life you can have when you're sober. What a great life, a full, full life you can have. But first thing we have to do is stop the booze and learn one day at a time how to live without drinking, okay? Merry Christmas to everybody. I'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video. Subscribe if you can. Hit that like button if you can, but can you all do me one favor? Take it one day at a time. And remember, together we are strong. Together we can get sober one day at a time. And you know something? It's not really a bad life. It's really not a bad life. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.